What's going on, Orbis X family? All right, check out the checklist feature. I'm going to go through it in depth, uh, explain how everything works, how you can find it, how you can set things up. Um, so first thing we're going to do is explain what checklists are. So checklists obviously are things that you can use to train your employees, make sure they're getting certain tasks done. Uh, for their jobs, but also it's a great way to keep the customer updated and provide an engaging customer experience where they will be able to see the progress of the appointment as it moves through different steps. So first thing first, we're going to focus on setting up checklists. To do that, go to admin, checklists and tasks. You'll see that now there's a new option there added. So click that one there. Boom. You're going to arrive here. If you have some already made, you'll see a list and you can manage them. You can search your existing checklists to filter them if you have a lot of them. And you can also quickly see what services and packages each checklist is assigned to, as well as manage the tasks and edit and, of course, delete. So first thing first is create a new checklist. So you're going to give it a name and this will be whatever you want to call it. It is visible to the customer because it's going to let them know what it is you're working on. So you could call it, you know, detailing or VIP package or something like that. And that way the customer will know uh, when they see the progress tracker what it is. Now, if you don't want the customer to see it, that's not a problem. You can just leave this option unchecked. Share progress with customers. You have another option as well. Share tasks progress with customers because there's two different things there. I'll explain in a moment. First thing first, give it a name, then you want to attach it to either a service or a package or both. So you can select several from the list. So in this case, let's say it's a VIP detailing package. So I select detailing, but then under my packages, that's where I might want to, you know, go down and select whatever package. In this case, I don't have a VIP package, so I'll just say standard. So I attach it to both of those. Now what's going to happen is any time that one of those services or packages are booked, it's going to automatically attach this checklist and it'll do that for you automatically so you don't even have to worry about it and it'll uh, be available to you on the appointment which I will show you later. Now if you let's say you have uh, you know this checklist for the VIP package but then during the appointment the customer adds on tinting you will be able to add on checklists as you go as well and you can remove checklists and so on and so forth. I will show you all of that when it comes to managing that. The next step is progress labels. This is what helps uh, give you some examples here, uh, but you can set these. You don't have to use them all. You can just set this one and the last one if you want. And what this will do is as things are completed, it'll calculate their percentage complete and show that visually to the customer. So this could be, for example, prepping for detail, cleaning exterior, interior, shampooing seats, and then final touch-ups that will then show the progress labels that's separate from the tasks but i'll get into that so first we have our progress labels and this is the main labels now to show you what these pieces look like for example um, i should have uh, whoops actually here the appointment progress excuse me while i bounce around to just pull this up so here's an example for what the customer would see they're going to see their appointment the date and the vehicle that's being worked on and then they're going to see the progress of different things um, so in in this case this checklist has starting cleaning exterior interior almost done and finishing up so as things are getting completed this will actually uh, start to fill up and view task list i can see as a customer i can see there's only a few things done now if you don't want customers to see specifically what tasks you work on that's not a problem just leave this unchecked if this is checked then it will show that to the customer. Similarly, if this is checked, it will share the progress of this one to the customer. If it's unchecked, then it won't show up in, oops, it won't show up in the list. Because you can have multiple checklists per an appointment, um, if you only have, let's say, one checklist on the appointment, it'll just show the top one, uh, but, or whatever it happens to be, whatever the first one is that's assigned. Now, if you have multiple, it'll show multiple with their own different steps. Uh, but if you have it set not to share, then it won't share the progress for that checklist. Similarly, similarly, if it's not set to share the task list, this button won't appear and the customer won't be able to see specifically what tasks you're working on. So you are able to toggle that on and off depending on what you want to show the customer. 
The progress labels are what show up here. So that's starting, cleaning exterior, cleaning interior, so on and so forth. You can name those whatever you would like. Now, you would click add checklist and it will save that checklist for you. Now, in this case, I've created some demo checklists to show you in this uh, little video here. So we have one detailing and one tinting, and that's what shows up here. We have detailing and tinting, the customer can see. Now, that's the services and packages, but manage tasks. So if we click this, it's going to pop up and it's going to load all the tasks that load by default for that checklist. You can drag and drop them to reorder them. You can, you know, change the text on the fly. So I can put an S on the end of garbages. You can see checklist task updated. Um, I can also delete them as well by clicking this. And then you can add a new task from this same screen. So you can click and type whatever you want, you know, new task item, whatever it happens to be. And then you can simply click the plus sign and it will add that in. Well, here, we'll just add one in. So boom, new task item. You can see it's added here. Uh, but we actually don't want that in our list, so we'll just delete it. So, very, very simple, very straightforward. You can literally add your checklists in a matter of minutes. So, give it a name, put the progress labels. Do you want to share the progress with customers? Do you want to share the task progress with customers? Choose those options as you would see fit. And then, once you hit save, it's going to load here, and then you'll be able to start adding the tasks. And so, as you can see, like Tinting, for example, has different tasks. So it's got its own set of tasks. You can reorder those. You can add new ones, delete them, change them on the fly, all that great stuff. Now, delete, pretty self-explanatory. Edit, also pretty self-explanatory. So clicking that, I mean, it's just going to, here, I'll click edit this one, for example. It's going to pull up my detailing one, and it's going to pre-fill in the progress labels that I have saved, as well as the sharing stats and so on and so forth. So very, very straightforward for adding checklists. Now, what happens once you have a checklist in there? So there's a few things that happen. One is that it does show up on your appointment. So I'm going to go to my calendar here and I will click on this day here. And I have some checklists uh, assigned to this event automatically. And that's great. So it has my detailing and my tinting. I can see them there. Now, I can add new ones on the fly. Now, this this case, I'll click detailing because it already exists, and it's going to give me a big error and say it's already assigned. So that's great. So detailing, I can click on tasks, and it'll pull up my task list, and it'll tell me who completed what, when, and I can check them off. So let's say I just finished cleaning the mirrors. I can click that, and now the mirrors are marked complete. Now let's say I also did the windows, and then I also cleaned the mats. So great, all of that stuff is done. And then I go about my business, I'm doing a few other things, I come back and oh, maybe I did the steering wheel. So okay, I come back into my tasks, clean the steering wheel. So that's done. Now the cool thing is, all of this is going to update in real time for the customer. So I'm going to go back here to the progress tracker, I'm going to refresh the page here, and the customer will now see 55% complete, and these two are marked done. And there's only three pieces left. View task list, I can see what's what's remaining. So see, we just left off on the steering wheel, the mats and the windows. Um, so it's a great way to keep the customer in the loop. Now, the great thing about this is that you don't have to worry about sending this to the customer. It'll happen automatically. How that works though, is once you start working on your event, all of your tasks should look like this. They should be un, you know incomplete. The minute that you check off the first one on any of the task list, it's going to automatically email the customer and send by text message. If you have that enabled, it's going to send them the tracking link. So the tracking link is going to appear in an email like this. And it's going to say, uh, first off, it's going to have a subject line appointment progress tracker. And it's going to show this little icon here with the timer. And it's going to say track your appointment progress, good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time of day it happens to be, it'll fill that in for you. It's going to take their first name, and it's going to say we're making great progress with your appointment. You can track the progress as we go using our online appointment progress tracker. Click the link below. View. Oh, we've got to put a two in there. <laughs> click the link below. I'll fix that up. But to view progress on your appointment services. They click this link and boom, it's going to load up the progress tracker for them. And it'll show them the progress that you're making on the appointment. Now, going back here. From this menu, let's say you don't need one of these checklists, I can always delete it. It's going to ask me if I want to. Yes, now it's deleted. 
and then I can actually add manually from here as well, because there will be a list here, I can add the tinting one. I can just say add, boom, it's going to add it to the event. So that's a great way you can easily add different checklists. So let's say if they only came in for detailing during the you know initial intake, you upsold them on getting their windows tinted. Well, that's fantastic. So then you would open up the event, you would go into your checklist, you would click tinting, and then you would click add. Now, in this case, it's already assigned. Um, so once, like I said, once you mark something done, the first, the first one of them, it automatically sends it to your customers. So you don't have to worry about it, but it doesn't send it to them when you haven't started because there's no point in the customer clicking and seeing that nothing's been started. That doesn't look good. So it waits until you've at least accomplished something to send it to your customer. Now, if you, let's say you make a bunch of progress or something, and then the client calls and he says, hey, you know, I, I didn't receive... Uh, any updates or anything, I just want to know where we're at, you can say, well, listen, we actually keep track of it with an online appointment tracker. I'll go into your appointment and I'll send you the link. You should get that in your email in a few moments. Check your spam box if you don't receive it. And then you can go and you can click this link here. Boom. And the minute you click that, it's going to go send them that uh, progress tracking link and it's going to pop up and let you know that it's done. And that will basically send them this email. It's going to come through like that. Um, so, that's how you can manage them on events, right? Now, if you don't have any checklists saved in the system, you won't see any of these boxes. You have to save a checklist first for it to, to appear. Oops, <laughs> click the button again. <laughs> so it has to, you have to have some saved for this box to show up. Um, now, I'll go, there's one more piece to this puzzle I'll show you here. Um, so in this case, this event, for example, has no checklist. So I can go in and I can assign one and I can say, yes, assign this one, boom. And then it's going to load up and it's got all its tasks uh, not com complete, basically. Uh, but I can click, like, you know, vacuum trunk, remove debris. You can do them in whatever order. And the cool thing is that it's also going to show you who completed what and when, uh, which is pretty cool. So if you have multiple staff working on the same job, uh, it's a great way you can see who did what exactly. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now, another great feature is that under your settings, so I'm going to go here to my settings and options. And I'm going to scroll down to my toggles. Uh, this whole page, by the way, is getting redone the settings. It's going to be in a list view format. That's really awesome. It's halfway finished. Um, once that's finished, these toggles will actually be in a separate section called automations. But for now, it's in toggles and options, automations. And what you're looking for is auto complete checklists on event complete. If you turn that on, like I have on here, what's going to happen then is as you go through your events, uh, let me go back to my events here. So as you go through your events, and I'll pull up one of these checklists. So here, I've got most of this done, but I don't have the rest done. Well, sometimes you might forget to go back and mark these all as, as complete. So if you're the type that that's going to matter to you, where you want to make sure that you know all the task lists are completed, all you have to do is turn on that setting to auto-complete them when you mark a job complete. And then what happens... So if I come in here and I mark my job complete, it's going to actually, you know, complete the job, of course. Um, so now it's it's marked complete, but then it's also going to have completed all of my tasks. So as you can see here now, because that was a system complete, it won't log who made the who actually did the task because the staff member didn't go in and mark it complete. So as you can see, these ones here after the steering wheel, that was the last one I did. Everything else was done by the system when I marked it complete so it doesn't show an appointment or an employee's uh, information. And that'll be the same for uh, both. So it'll mark off, I didn't even start this one uh, manually, but it marked them all complete because I marked the job complete. So that's something you could turn on if that's of interest to you. And you would do that under your admin and settings and options. And in the toggle section where the automations are, oops, I clicked babies and options, uh, babies and locations. Under toggles and options, automations, this is what you're looking for. Auto-complete checklists on event complete. So if you have that turned on, the minute you mark a job complete, it will automatically complete any tasks that haven't been finished yet. Now, if you'd rather be able to go back and see like, hey, I saw you didn't mark these jobs complete or something like that. You can leave that off and have them complete that uh, process manually. Uh, but the best thing to do, of course, if you do want to make sure that they're always completed when a job's more complete, is just turn that on. Uh, but then in, in between that time, 
uh, you can you know manually go and, and mark them complete as well um, so once again just quick review admin uh, checklists and tasks create new checklist to create checklists you can search them you can you know see the packages services you can click manage tasks and manage the tasks that are there edit delete of course and then once um, you assign services and packages it will automatically assign two uh, jobs that have that uh, service or package um, you know on the appointment and then from the calendar you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to manage those under the checklists section and so you have a few options here it shows you the checklist name tasks and delete so clicking tasks will pull up the task list you can mark them whichever ones are completed you can delete and then you can also assign uh, different ones to that event as well um, so that's essentially the checklist in a nutshell enjoy this will help keep your whole team and your shop running smoothly keep you organized you'll be able to get stuff done and also add some accountability to your staff uh, for getting things done in the order that you want them done and making sure that certain things are not missed during your appointments to maintain that exceptional customer experience.